Stadium. North Sydney getting away to a good start, but then a great comeback by the Roosters. 28-24 in the finish, uh, 9,000 at league headquarters for this one. Uh, North Sydney uh, getting on track uh, early, bad head clash early on though for Nathan Woodrow. Yes, he's a brave little fellow and uh, it was sad that he uh, he had to come off, uh, so, you know, and like that, but uh, but he'll, he'll be back. And I thought that there was a very high standard of skill in this game overall and uh, it, it was a great joy to see such a high quality game on a Saturday afternoon. Got to agree, Roy, I reckon this was one of the most uh, skillful displays that I've seen in any match this year. Every tried bar one in the game had uh, plenty of passes involved with players running into gaps, coming up with two or three options with every play and uh, backup uh, dis displays on both camps was absolutely first class. You see, uh, this, this try here, you know, although it looked a little bit soft, he, Mackay had a little bit of work to do there, pushing two or three blokes out. Chip kicking in uh, um, matches over the last two or three days has really become uh, a, a, a great display. This is probably the softest try in, in, in the whole game. Well, uh, it's good to see Eastern Suburbs trying things, but I want to give uh, North Sydney a wrap here. Um, a what about great pass here by, the, by um, Jason Taylor. He, Draw three, four blokes, four and blokes. I put it over. Yeah. But I put that down to also North Sydney having Matty Sears at, at five or two. He's got a great acceleration, and they really do combine very well. Well, Tony Iroh's had a great uh, season for the Roosters, and he was a big part of the, the comeback into this. Yeah, he sure did. He, uh, he was involved in those last couple of tries there. Um, running out wide is probably the thing that I believe has is, is brought his game uh, um, back to the fore a little bit. Uh, Graham, he, he tended to run, run a little bit uh, closer to the ruck, but mm. since getting out wide, a real display again. Yeah, a the real great 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 try. Try. Yeah. Guy, that, that try by Mackay there, in fact, uh, it could well have been Mackay that had won the game for Eastern Suburbs yeah. in the last couple of minutes of the play when he kicked the head rather than take the tackle, play the ball and let the ball go out the back line. Brad, just before you go, um, what do you expect to get out of the court action? Uh, do you guys still expect as though you've got a chance at a World Cup selection? Well, ultimately, we hope to get a few players selected in the World Cup squad and uh, uh, and uh, compete over in the World Cup because it, it'll be a great event and uh, we want to be part of it. But has it been very hard for the players to, to push 1996 uh, out of their minds, uh, the start of Super League away and just concentrate on this season only? Um, no, it's pretty easy because uh, you take each week as it comes. It's an old cliche, but uh, you, you want to hold your head high. It, it's, a, it's a case of pride more than anything. Mm. And uh, you want to make sure that uh, you're on the, the winning side of the scoreboard and, uh, uh, you know, because it has a flow-on effect and uh, it creates success. All right, thanks for your time this morning. I know the Raiders are looking to get on the winning scoreboard next week. Uh, would you please thank Bagpipe for joining us? Now next week an historic promotion at the Sydney Cricket